Hello everybody and welcome to a slightly different type of video. This is going to be about what is currently growing in the garden. Now this area is fairly grown up now, you may remember it. Do you remember this? Yes, this is exactly where I'm currently filming. Obviously this was in the uh, winter months when I was just rotivating it, making it fairly level. Just going back to that though, I did rotivate it many times after that to break up the clods of hard clay. Now first we've got some runner beans just here. They're a fairly good length and they're most likely going to be frozen and then they can be used when they're required throughout the winter. Because obviously you can't just go and eat all of the runner beans in one go unless you are a bit of a giant. Next we have got underneath some of these big leaves uh, some, well, I think there's a course yet. Just one. Very big one. But hopefully, some more are going to be coming. In fact, you can see the start of some. So yeah, that is the first of them. Here is a closer up view. Now I'm just recording this over the top. I was going to do it live, but I just thought, it's too windy. It's very noisy. Next what we've got is some corn. Now the corn isn't going that well this year. You can see there's plenty of cobs on here, but they just don't look that healthy. You see one is opening up there. It's very pale. Now, they may still be okay, but there's no guarantees it's gonna be a success. But it's just an extra, different vegetable to have. Down there, we've got a pumpkin. One of many pumpkins this year. It seems to be a bit of a bumpy year for them. Last year was fairly terrible. I think there was about two in the end. But this year, there's already about 10. There's two more in there. And there's plenty more showing signs of, going, of the early progress of growing. Big one here, and I'll show you some more later on. Actually, there are three more areas, and there's two more in here. So yes, pumpkins are going very well this year, which is very good, because I absolutely love pumpkins. Pumpkin soup is fantastic. If you haven't had it before, you should try it. Next, we have got a row of leeks just in here. Not too exciting, but they seem to be doing okay. We then have some beetroot. Again, I absolutely love beetroot. Um, it's always good. Boiled up and then served with a bit of vinegar and pepper. There is a close-up view of one. One of many. Some of them are fairly big now. Here is a close-up view of the leeks from the other side. And again, the pumpkins just there. There is a smaller, paler one, but they grow so fast. I think this is probably one of the biggest. There are quite a few which are the same size. Now, just two weeks ago, this was fairly small. Moving on, there's nothing really under the cloche, but then we have got the main crop of potatoes just here. Again, I, I can't really say how they're doing because you'd have to pull one up and see, but they seem to be getting on very well. I think just leave them to it, make sure they've got enough water, and they should be fine. They should produce plenty of potatoes very soon. Then have some carrots. Again, you can't really see the progress, but they're happily growing away in a tub. So they should produce quite a few in a month or so. Next, we've got some uh, purple sprouting broccoli, which it's not looking, it's actually, yeah, it's not looking too good at all. So hopefully something will come out of them. We then have some kale just here, uh, which is all being eaten by bugs and flies. Down here is a, a row of spinach. The spinach usually does fairly well, so as long as it's got enough water, it should be fine. Now moving on to the next thing, underneath this cloche, we have got some more kale. Healthier kale. The reason why is because the pests and the butterflies haven't been all over it, drilling holes into the leaves. So yeah, this is much better. Um, when it's all boiled up, it should be very nice. Put that down, keep the pests out. And then there is a row of radishes just here. Radishes you sort of grow throughout the year, different batches. This is one of many batches this year. It doesn't look to be many, but you don't really need too many. They grow fairly quickly. And then there are some more leeks just here. Another row. It is very congested, obviously, lack of space. Oh, and I've just missed one thing as well. Under this cosh, there is actually a row of Brussels sprouts growing for Christmas time. Hopefully they do well, because I absolutely love Brussels sprouts. We then have about four different plants of squashes, winter hurricane. Um, now these do grow fairly big, that's why they're spaced out, and they're going to take up quite a large area of this vegetable patch. 
Next we've got another large area of potatoes. These are Charlotte potatoes um, and they're actually in the process of being harvested as they're required as you can see just here. Um, in fact I had some a couple of days ago. They have grown very well. So yeah this is the first crop of potatoes in here. Now these peas about a month ago, three weeks ago, were absolutely fantastic. They're now past it though. They were the sweetest peas I've probably ever had. I don't know about you, but I don't really like peas that much when they're cooked. I mean, they're okay, but I prefer to eat them raw. They're so much nicer. And they're a bit of a snack when you're out and about outside. Moving on, we've got some parsley just here. And plenty of it, plenty of parsley. Um, obviously great for parsley sauce or that kind of thing. If you're gonna have some hot ham, um, obviously there are other uses of parsley too. And back here we've got some more pumpkins, just another area of pumpkins. In fact, there are about four around here, four fairly large ones. Obviously, they might not all live, but if they do, it'd be great. So just here we've got some rhubarb. Hard to see inside with all the big leaves, but in there there are some very healthy stems of rhubarb. If you like rhubarb crumble with custard, then the rhubarb is something you should grow. We then have a different variety of cucumber. I'm not too sure what it's called, but it reminds me of a puffer fish. There is just a similarity. It actually looks a bit spiky and scary, but yeah, it's not too bad to hold. Um, but it is, yeah, a, a round cucumber. Not something you see every day. Next, we've got some very healthy tomatoes. Now tomatoes have got to be my favourite fruit, I really do love them, and of course they've got so many different uses. You can turn them into soup, you can eat them as they are, you can puree them into a sauce, they're just great. Another bucket of carrots just here, and now moving on to the less edible, we've got some holly trees. These are actually about, how old are they, about six years old. They're very slow growing, holly trees, or bushes I should say. Um, we've also got a Norway spruce, two of them, at least I think they're a Norway spruce. They came from the seeds of one anyway, so yeah, maybe in 20 years time, it'll be ready for Christmas. We then have some black currants, well, the last of the black currants. The main crop of these black currants was a while ago, um, well, a few weeks ago. So there's a few left, but nothing too much. There, there was a lot, there were loads of them, but they're a bit past it now. I thought I might as well just show you where they're growing anyway. So that is actually it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of thing, then please leave a like down below. And if you don't, just leave a comment and say the reasons why you don't want to see this. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.